hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Malcolm Xavier if you are new here on this channel we talk about cyber security and in this video we will be talking about the CIA triad the CIA tried and no we are not talking about the secret agents here we are talking about how we can keep information safe let's break it down into three simple parts confidentiality integrity and availability so what is the CIA tried first up confidentiality it's all about keeping secrets secret imagine you have a diary you wouldn't want someone snooping through it right confidentiality ensures only the right people like you can access your information in an organization setup corporate data is often secured in shared folders which is only accessed by people who need to have access to in most cases shared folders or you know, files that are saved on a file server or a SharePoint or Teams are protected with a password if not protected they are controlled via access this is mostly managed by your IT team and folder owners so confidentiality is all about protecting the privacy of the individuals and proprietary information by limiting who can access it and that's why it's important to label every single document which is sensitive in your organization and then secure it in uh, appropriate locations protect the data accordingly now let's look into integrity integrity is all about ensuring that the information is accurate and unaltered and it cannot be modified or destroyed without authorization think about sending a recipe to a friend you don't want someone sneaking it and replacing sugar with salt, right? So integrity uh, ensures that your data is accurate and hasn't been tampered with. In the digital world, we use checks like hashes to make sure that information stays exactly as it should. So a software that has been created would normally be protected by a file hash. To ensure that its integrity is secured so when we talk about availability we talk about information or systems being available 24 cross 7 think about a normal user trying to book an airline ticket and the website is down obviously uh, he will try to look for alternatives and this was this may result in loss of business for the airlines who only found that their website was down so it's important that systems are available 24 cross 7 and they are accessible when it's needed to be accessed so how is the CIA tried used in most organization your security leadership team will first want to set your information security policies and thereafter your security procedures so when someone is start starting on a blank slate they would want to create the policies based on confidentiality integrity and availability and thus uh, the CIA tried helps organization plan its policies and procedures to protect sensitive information and systems the CIA tried also helps uh, your security team to identify threats and develop solutions to mitigate them. For example, uh, we looked at the analogy of files being saved on file servers or shared folders. Uh, the, the planning itself would help the folder owners or the IT team develop solutions to mitigate them. For example, you know, either having uh, permissions or password protect or encrypt the data secured in that particular location.
and the CIA tried also helps uh, the wider cybersecurity framework implementation. There are industry recognized framework like the NIST, like the NIST framework. Uh, so when you look at your planning with the help of the CIA tried, it can help you implement those uh, frameworks into your organization to protect uh, information in your environment. So how is the CIA tried applied? To, to fight against confidentiality breaches, you must classify and label restricted data and thereafter establish access control encrypted data and in some cases or in most cases use multi-factor authentication uh, systems. So if we look at the analogy of accessing shared data on SharePoint or sh uh, shared data on a shared folder, you only need to allow the people who need access to the data and you can also implement sophisticated systems which then will force the user to access a password or and then an MFA to get the access to the data. And this is how you can uh, protect the confidentiality of the data. To protect the integrity of your data, you can use hashing, encryption and digital certificates. For websites, uh, in most cases, websites are protected with uh, trustworthy certificates uh, that are issued from uh, third party certificate authorities. It also uh, uh, verifies the authenticity of uh, your website so that visitors can trust that they are visiting a genuine website. And it also protects uh, unauthorized uh, alteration or modification. And to ensure that systems are available, organizations often use a redundant network. So instead of using one a core switch they will use another switch you know which run in parallel uh, even with servers uh, one system would be in a group of uh, servers where load balancing happens and the same goes with applications as well this can also be programmed to become available when primary systems are being disrupted that means when you have a primary and a secondary server if the primary system goes down automatically the user is redirected to the secondary server in most cases organization uh, do depend on backups and disaster recovery systems if in case uh, a primary site is down they would automatically or manually roll over to the site so that systems and services are available to the end user So let's let me ask you: Should organization use the CIA tried? And I'm sure you'll answer yes. So I have further uh, divided this into three steps. Step one is it helps your security teams or your security leadership to go through a high level of checklist for the evaluation of the security procedures, policies, and the tools that are needed. It also helps in assessing what went wrong and what can actually work for us. So if there was an incident related to someone accessing uh, data that was hosted in a file server and you know that it was unauthorized, that means something went wrong. And you know when you go back and research, you know that it is related to confidentiality and then you will go back to your procedures and policies and see how you can modify those. And the third uh, in this is, you know, that the data can be used to address weak points and replicate successful policies and implementation. So the findings from uh, any incident or you know, the feedback from users can be used and to define your policies and implementation. And this is it for the CIA tried. I'm sure you enjoyed the video. If you do have any comments, please feel free to comment in the comment section. 
and if you feel that you have gained some value from this video please do hit the like and do subscribe to our channel in the next video we are going to talk about the different type of cyber attacks so thank you for being patient and keep uh, following us for more such videos thank you very much